stuff made or what do you think about that Patrick about the, what's going on on Facebook about the tire story I think it's a lot of bullshit they, they you think it's a lot of the bullshit yeah. <laughs> I think I think they need to get the rules and, and get the proper information about the tires before they open their mouths okay so now what what makes a tire legal or what is the, the robot racing rule on tires okay robot racing you use street legal tires uh, you get dotted, uh, dotted tires that is for road use, you get uh, dotted tires that's for racing purposes only. Okay, so now the dotted proof tires for racing only, that is not it's allowed. It's not allowed. It's not allowed, it's because not you allowed. cannot use it on the road. Exactly. So if a traffic officer pulls you over and he just happens to check your tire for a dot number, and you got a dot number and it says, not for highway use, what does that then mean? It means that he is going to give you a ticket. Ah, see, now... That is the fine line. Yes, you get a total proof tire, but then that makes it a street tire at a drag event, like an MSA event, if we did have tire classing that's for, the, for the classes, right? Yes. So, uh, that's the one issue. Now the second issue, water meth. Okay. Is there a problem with water meth? There is no problem with water meth. The only, the only problem with water meth, the guys that come here um, with the stuff not being securely uh, mounted in the cars. Okay. Uh, okay, so now, what, what could actually happen if it's not securely mounted in the vehicle? Well, at the speeds they're doing down the, 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 the racetrack, down the main street, if they hit something, yeah. uh, I mean, you can think for yourself what will happen to, with that bottle. I mean, Yeah, if the bottle spills, even though it's a 50-50 mix exactly, with, with exactly. still water and, and methanol, that's a there's, clear still, burn, there's, still, a, there's still methanol there. Yes, As yes. you're saying there, it's, it's a clear burner. It's a clear so what do you mean by a clear burner, uh, Patrick? Uh, you, don't, uh, you don't see the flames immediately. It, you see, you don't see the flames. You will actually feel it. You won't, you won't feel you won't, the heat, yeah. but you won't feel, see the, the flames. Your skin start to bubble. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So you see, that's a safety safety aspect on there. That's it. So uh, yeah, guys, look, uh, you guys have been talking a lot, and uh, look, I'm doing this video not with any reference or defending anybody, but mm -hmm. I'm actually sick and tired of it. The rules are rules. Uh, you need daughterproof tires, which is street tires, and then obviously, if you are using meth kit. It needs to be secured. So clearly stated that uh, daughterproof tires have to be used. Meth kits have to be fastened. Your wheel nuts, all your wheel nuts have to be on your car. Please, please. Yeah. And the safety belts and the seats, please. No. Ah, seats see. comes you with see. three nuts, three bolts in it. You uh -oh. see. Oh, you see now what you guys have opened up a can of worms. So uh, There's I'd a like lot to say. of things that we can mention, <laughs> but I mean, we're not going there. We're not going there. But I say thank you very much, Patrick, for just enlightening us on the tire rule and on the myth. Because uh, that post has apparently gone over 300 comments and uh, oh, I don't even know. I'm